Hi guys, I'm Rob and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Well, I'm back again with a brand new model review today and this one comes from AutoArt. So what I have to show you guys today is the brand new 2017 Ford GT in liquid red with silver stripes. Now I wasn't planning on getting this model, um, but I saw a couple of pictures on Facebook about it and also this is going to be modified and sent to Shmi. So uh, I thought I'd show you this model in stock form first uh, before I do anything to it. Um, and it's a pretty impressive model with, with a beautiful paint color on it. So uh, it just comes in these standard auto art boxes now. Uh, there are no signature models anymore and standard models, they're all the same. Uh, no certificate of authenticity. Uh, like in the old days uh, and this is a composite model as well so uh, inside the box just comes with a little instruction booklet how to pop up the rear wing uh, the top of the box does include a little auto art opening key uh, and the model is screwed to this foam shell base so this is the 2017 Ford GT in liquid red with the silver stripes um, pretty cool looking model if I must say so what I'll do, I'll get this unscrewed, we'll put it on the turntable uh, and we'll have a closer look at this brand new model from AutoArt. Okay, so now she's on the turntable, you can actually get a good look at the paint finish on this model. Uh, they've done a great job on this liquid red colour uh, and it looks pretty cool with the silver stripes as well. Now, this is a composite model. It is fully opening, so it has opening doors, hood, and engine compartment as well. Uh, and it also has a working rear spoiler, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but overall, the model presents really well. Uh, I think Ford did a great job with this, the styling of this car. It's a great looking um, supercar. And uh, I think Auto, Auto Art has done a, uh, a faithful reproduction of the real car with this model. Now let's uh, start talking about some of the details on this model. Uh, it does have photo etch mesh in all the grille openings, so in the front, and it's a really large pattern grille as well. Uh, also, either side of the front hood here, uh, you've got mesh there. There's some mesh in the side intakes. Uh, the rear intakes here have mesh, uh, and there is some open mesh in the back of the model as well. So. Uh, that's a pretty good start. It's nice to have open mesh and especially this one being so open Because uh, you can see right into the mouth of the model uh, and into the underside of the radiator in the front So that's really cool to see that I think they've done a really good job on the headlight assemblies of this Ford GT um, Nice little details in there with the DRLs uh, and there's a nice little uh, photo etched Ford emblem on the nose as well now, as I mentioned, uh, there is mesh through here, and if you look through, you can actually see the radiator fans on top of that front radiator as well. So, nice details there. Uh, the front splitter uh, looks like carbon fibre, but it's actually textured plastic either side, uh, not a decal or printed. Um, the stripes are obviously printed onto the body. Uh, they're more of a matte silver finish, whereas the body is a gloss finish. Um, we'll open up the front hood while we're here. So that opens up effortlessly. Uh, and you've also got your little fluid reservoir containers in the front there. So uh, that's a nice little touch there to have a front opening hood. Not much storage at all in this car and none in the front. The windscreen wipers are just molded in black plastic, but they look okay. Uh, and there's nice clear plastics are used on the windows of the model as well. Really cool job on these side mirrors. Uh, the actual stalk of the mirror is carbon fibre decal and the mirrors are in red uh, and they use nice shiny reflective material in behind the mirror as well. Now the side sills, they are decals. They are not textured plastic, they are actually decals which run all the way through. You've got these large intakes here, uh, which you can see the radiators in behind there as well, uh, which look pretty cool. Uh, and one of the best features of this 4GT design are these big flying buttresses where you can see right through. So one of the most distinctive features of the 4GT uh, and it looks great in 1 scale as well. 
So as you can see, uh, the air channels through those flying buttresses go either side of the engine compartment and then out through the back of the model, which you can see they've done a fantastic job of the tail lights and the other little details on the back of the model as well. So you've got your uh, exhaust outlets in the centre there, which look pretty good. Uh, and the rear diffuser here, again, is textured plastic to simulate carbon fibre like the front splitter. So um, not a huge letdown. Um, it looks okay. And all this rear diff diffuser is all in textured plastic as well. Pretty much like the whole uh, bottom of the model. Flat bottom, this is all textured plastic to simulate carbon fibre. But it looks pretty good in my opinion. So... Um, yeah, it's really the paint finish on this model that, that stands out so much. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, a few other colours available, um, but I chose this one uh, as it will be modified. The stripes will be repainted gold and we'll be doing a wheel change on this uh, to match uh, fellow YouTuber Shmi's, uh Real 4 GT in the UK. So, yeah, that's pretty much the exterior of the model. Uh, engine compartment does open up as well, pretty effortlessly, uh, and you've got a little storage compartment in the back of the model here. This is carpeted, uh, and you've got all the engine surround and the engine, uh, which is all in textured plastic as well to look like carbon fibre. So it doesn't detract too much from the model. Uh, it still looks pretty good, um, but this is just what AutoArt have been doing as of late, uh, a lot of use of textured plastic to look like carbon fibre. But nonetheless, it's great that it actually has an opening uh, rear hatch, and as you can see, clear plastics are used in the engine window as well. So uh, just one gas strut uh, on this side, uh, that's enough to hold that little engine lid open. So another thing I want to talk about, which is great on this model, is the tyres. Uh, you can actually see it has all the Michelin tyre print on the tyres, uh, which is uh, something that a lot of other car manufacturers of models don't do. They don't put the tyre writing on there, um, and that's a great touch to really add some realism to these models. So uh, great job there by AutoArt to actually have the uh, Michelin writing on the tyres. Now the wheels are replicated really good too. Um, of course they do roll, uh, they don't spin freely as you can see, um, but they do steer, uh, same as the back wheels. Um, they don't spin at all really, just you've got to turn them, but they do rotate, so uh, that's going to keep most people happy. Uh, and they've done a pretty good job on the brake roses and the brake calipers front and rear in the model also. I think the stance is pretty good as well, um, it doesn't sit too high. Uh, it'd be great if it was in race mode and it sat a little bit lower, uh, but it really does not detract. This is how the car sits in standard form. Uh, so overall, I think AutoArt has done a really good job. I think they've really nailed the shape, the stance. Um, as I said, I think they've really done a great job on the colour. Uh, hopefully the LEDs are really making this colour pop because um, the liquid red is a beautiful colour. So we've got lots of wins here. We've got opening front, we've got opening rear. Um, the jewel in the crown is the opening doors. Now these do open up. They do feel quite delicate, to be honest, uh, being a composite model. Um, you wouldn't want to be too rough with these. Uh, they just, the hinge mechanism does feel very fragile. So I probably wouldn't be opening and closing these doors on these composite models too much. I would probably just either put them up to display it uh, or keep them down uh, and don't let too many people play with the doors up and down because I think that is a real issue with these composite models in the long term. Um, so only time will tell uh, whether we start having issues with these composite models with things like the doors. Um, but overall, the, the, the model looks fantastic with the doors up, with these butterfly-style doors. Um, as I say, just be a little bit careful with the door mechanisms. Uh, they do feel a little bit flimsy. Uh, they do have one strut in here to hold the door up, which is enough to hold the door up. After all, this whole door is plastic. Um, it would be a bit hard to stay up with die cast because it's so much heavier. 
Um, so that's one positive for composite models is that uh, models with these style of doors have no problem holding the doors up by themselves. So uh, as I say, I think the model looks fantastic with the doors up uh, and they've done a pretty good job on the interior as well. Um, but let's talk about all the sill area. So all this sill is all in textured plastic to look like carbon fibre. Um, but one thing I did notice that sort of would be better if it wasn't there, there's a screw right here in the sill. Now, it is black, it does sort of blend in with the sill, um, but I'm sure they could have come up with another way of uh, screwing this model together rather than having this big screw head right there in the door in the door sill. So um, that's probably the only letdown if you're displaying the model with the doors up uh, and it's on both sides as well, that screw. So as I said, this is all textured carbon fiber plastic. Um, the interior is mostly black and a very dark gray. So I think they've done a pretty good job on the steering wheel, the gear shift paddles, uh, the top of the dashboard, uh, as you can see here, that's all in textured plastic carbon fibre as well. Um, but the seats, uh, the seats do have uh, a very light sort of flocking feel to them. They don't feel like smooth plastic. Um, so the seats are actually pretty good uh, and it does have cloth seat belts in there as well. Now the instrument binnacle also is pretty good and there is a GT logo on the screen in the centre console as well. Uh, not sure whether you'll be able to see that. It's quite small. Maybe you can there. Um, and it does have some carpeting on the floor of the model as well. So passenger side and driver's side. So um, overall, the interior is pretty good. Uh, as I say, probably really the only letdown is this screw in the sill uh, and just the fact that these doors are so... Uh, they feel very flimsy. And they easily click back down and lock into place, um, but they really do feel very, very flimsy. So, um, but overall, look, I think AutoArt has done a fantastic job on this model. As I say, it's not a model that I would usually buy, um, but I'm really quite surprised and quite pleased actually by uh, the level of detail in the model. Now, these retail for US $230 on AutoArt's website. Uh, I got this one from AutoArt uh, Direct straight out of Hong Kong uh, and it arrived within two days of ordering. So that was super, super fast shipping from AutoArt. Um, they are getting quite expensive compared to what AutoArt models uh, were years and years ago. Uh, but I guess that's just progress. That's, um, that's we're moving forward. Everything in life costs more money now. Um, so yeah, this comes in a few different other colours. It comes in black with red stripes comes in yellow with black stripes, uh, it comes in the liquid blue as well, um, but I think this one and the yellow one probably look the best and will pop the most in your collection. Um, but yeah, as I said, overall I think AutoArt has done a, a fantastic job of this model. Uh, it really will look good on display in your showcases uh, and the fact that it all opens up as well uh, is an absolute uh, bonus these days. Uh, that we're in a world of sealed resin models. So really nice to have a fully opening model. And as you can see, uh, it really does look quite good all opened up like this. So uh, I can highly recommend this model. Um, go and grab yourself one if you're a fan of the Ford GT uh, or if you just collect supercars, I think this is definitely one to add into the collection. So yeah, I think that's gonna basically wrap up today's review of this AutoArt Ford GT in liquid red with silver stripes. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Don't forget to smash that like button uh, and feel free to follow me on social media as well. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I also have an eBay store. All the links to those pages are on the homepage of this YouTube channel. So yeah, that basically is gonna wrap it up. Um, make sure you click that bell notification. Um, we've got plenty more videos coming for the rest of this year. Uh, more models on the way, a really fantastic model arriving next week that's been on order for a year. Um, so stick around to the channel uh, and uh, look forward to the next video. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.